Hello. We're back from Floral Island Resort in Palawan, Philippines, after a mind-blowing experience and adventure. Um, Glenn and Carlos and I went on to Japan after that, but a bunch of us were in Manila in the Philippines doing meet and greets. Uh, hello, people that we saw there. Before we go into any of the massive amounts of videos that uh, we made there, and by the way, there is going to be, uh, I think, starting next week or starting in a few days for you, 15, 16 vlogs from the island. We we did something every day, you know, beautiful impressions, but also some really funny shit of, you know, some of your favorite guitar YouTubers, which I will be releasing uh, as one big series, so you can look forward to that. But before we go into any of this, I would like to introduce the island to you and the owners of the island, because what we didn't quite know was that we'd be part of a family. Martin and Flora own the island. This is not a big conglomerate and a big resort. They are just the most lovely people that made this a home and then later turned it into a place that you can rent because uh, their son, Philippe, is very thrifty and very clever and is building uh, youth hostels and uh, hotels and small resorts. And you turned you know, their family home into a place that you can visit. So we were there for two weeks and we really became part of the family. They spent the whole time with us just sitting there in the main house and the whole staff uh, becomes part of your adventure. Yes, they serve you drinks and they cook amazing food for you, but you become part of their island family. And that is very, very amazing. Now, if you think that this is a ridiculous dream vacation that only the ultra-rich or uh, entitled YouTube idiots can afford, that is absolutely not the case. I won't tell you exact numbers, but I'm telling you this. Per person, per night, it costs us about the same as any motel and breakfast here in Germany or the US. However, you had your own bungalow with three amazing meals a day. So, your own house on a dream island and three meals a day is about as much as a motel and breakfast in Germany. That's the money you're looking at. So, if you have eight to ten friends that you can stand being close to for a longer amount of time. You should really look into this because going to this dream place is not cost prohibitive. But now I'll pass it on to Martin and Flora who will tell you about their adventure. So this is where we were and you will see a lot of content coming out of this amazing trip. And after My name is Martin. I'm a Swiss. I, I live uh, 40 years in the Philippines, uh, all the time in Palawan. I want to welcome you here in our small place on the island. It's the only place you don't have to die to go to paradise because you live in paradise here. So uh, how I came to the Philippines, uh, it was on travel. Oh, I met Martin in 1983. Of course, in Tai Tai Palawan. Well, uh, probably it was uh, it was love at first sight. I would think it's like uh, it's like this feeling. Uh, you are you are born in the wrong country, something like that. I was part of the medical mission team of the Manila Sanitarium in Hospital in Manila, and at the same hotel in Puerto, there I met him. Yeah, I felt immediately at ease and very comfortable in the Philippines and with the Filipinos, the people. Uh, I admire Filipinos, how they live and how they think. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely in the right place here. Before this island, in 1983, we built up a resort in Port Python, San Vicente, Palawan, on the west coast of Puerto Princesa. From there, we stayed, like, we operate that resort. It's called Swiss Cipini. We 
we are here since uh, 2014. We built up this place from scratch, actually. There was uh, nothing here except a small community uh, with about 300 people mainly fishermen. It was like a, a very small village with 300 people, more or less, I guess. Actually, it was all complete here. It was all, uh, they had a, a basketball field. We have a church up to now. Uh, there was a tribunal. The speciality actually was to catch a certain kind of fish. It's uh, the lapu-lapu, it's the suno. They call that locally suno. And they catch it small and they they make it big in aquariums and they sold it to the Chinese for a, actually for a tremendous amount of money. Something they have to work normally maybe for a, four, five, six days or something like that. So that was the main business on this island. But uh, the people left slowly because there is no water here, there is no school here, so the kids grew up, they had to go to school, and uh, by and by uh, everybody left. And now there's only two old couples living on this island here, and yeah, and us. So from there on, we decided to sell the Swiss Ipini Lodge in Port Barton, and from that money, we bought this uh, place of yeah, this Talakan. Not the, the whole island, but just portions. We started with one house and lot in front, and from there on, people were selling their houses one by one to us. And that's how we came up to have a big portion here on Talakanin Island. Uh, when we stayed here in 2011, and we stayed here on one of the houses here, and that's how we met Irish and the family of Irish. They're a very nice family. They live at the back of the island, which the mother was helping us doing our house, our laundry, and her father was uh, working for us as our carpenter. And Iris at the time was in college, taking up the tourism. And I advised her if she wants, she can work for us here, and as well as well studying and that's how we came up to work up to now here for us. And she is our team leader. Thank you, Irish. We hardly use any uh, electrical. It's all made from uh, native materials. It's all made, principally it's made by, by hand, the whole place. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really a challenge. It took us three years to, to build up this place. And uh, yeah, lots, lots sweat and tears, I would think. And sure, we are also a little bit proud that we could build up this place and it came really beautiful. Uh, otherwise, uh, there were also, uh, we still have leftovers here from a health center. There was a small health center here. If you go around, uh, you still see small houses, uh, rotten houses. It's the leftover of this small community. The church is, uh, as most of Filipinos, they are, so the church is a Catholic church. Uh, what we did uh, when people left, we renovated the, the church, we paint everything, we ask an artist to come here to put uh, new old paintings and everything. But actually most of the uh, interior there is still original and and it's uh, it's elevated. It's it's really beautiful. You have a you have a nice uh, overview there, and uh, we make uh, 320 steps. Well, I would think it's it's a highlight because uh, we work so long, and it's a really hard job to do that. From our reception, that is sea level, going up about eight, maybe it's about I would think it's about 150 meters, 280 meters. So there are 320 steps going to a viewpoint. So up there you have a beautiful view over uh, the whole Tai Tai Bay. Uh, on clear days you can really see very, very far. And it's, it's, it's really nice uh, to go up there. Even it's, it's really hard and it's steep, but uh, it's worth the effort. At the pier is a, is a jumping board uh, for playing around. Uh, we have some kayaks you can, you can use. 
We have also nice attractions here on neighboring islands. We have one island, it's a, it's a fisher island, and they are very famous for their turtles. It's full, it's just, it's just full of turtles. And the reason why there are so many turtles there is there is a special grass growing there that is just a favorite food of these turtles. And uh, they have this, these are green turtles, so they get really, they get, I mean, I don't exaggerate, but they are really getting big. They are uh, more than a meter and uh, they are uh, over a hundred kilos. It's, it's amazing. Uh, you should really see it yourself. Otherwise, also, uh, there are still some untouched reefs here. I would think uh, Tai Tai in the future will uh, get also uh, popular for tourism. Uh, people should come and visit Floral Island on Talahanen, Island Tai Tai, because it's, some, it's somewhat a dream. <coughs> we stayed in an exclusive and private island resort. I, I'm sure people realize if you want to go away from the mainstream, I think Tai Tai is the place to go.